Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another game recap. Uh, once again, I'll be rolling with the Tennessee Titans playbook. Uh, and I'll be using I-Form Slot as one of my base offenses. Also, I'll be using um, the single back um, doubles uh, south, which is going to be another formation I'll be jumping into. And I'll be jumping into some of the previous plays that I'm using. Now, I want to let you know that this is uh, basically a defensive battle uh, of a game. Uh, this guy... Um, uh, really, his defense was good. He had, I had like a little glitchy way that he was um, running his defense, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show that to you a little bit later on. Uh, but uh, this is a very good defensive game right here. Uh, so he, I believe he was using the Rams playbook by, by, by the fact that most of the formations were fairly similar to what I was running to. Uh, but right here I'm just cross manning his guys. He does a little outside, outside run. My guy falls over and I'm able to go ahead and tackle him for an 8-yard gainer. I should have had some guy uh, set the edge out there, but the guy just tripped over himself. So I'm staying with the safety blitz right here, just trying to get the guys down in the box. He does a nice little inside run. I get penetration. I got double, uh, double penetration right there goes ahead no huddles again I got my guys cross manned up just to kind of give him a different look and he throws the out and Floyd is not there to make a play so he's able to get a first down so first and ten situation he goes into um, uh, the uh, st uh, uh, strong close type formation it's uh, what it, the um, uh, the, the, the I-form single back close formation and then he just takes a little pitch to the outside so second and four cross man my guys again I just wanted to try to give him a little bit of a different look I was just trying to get the mechanics down for that and he, he goes ahead and I'm taking away the high route he drops it down to the low route and picks up another first down so this guy's just shredding my defense right now He's very been a very effective so far, shredding my defense. So I decided to go and blitz the safeties. I really haven't been containing anything, and he pops him once again in the flat. So uh, he's just dinking and dunking his way down, and you know that's just a very effective defense. You just allow your opponent to go ahead uh, and dink and dunk your way down. If your opponent's going to give the flats, take them because you're going to be picking up five or six yards a shot, and you can definitely win games. So right here, I'm trying to set up um, uh, uh, my defense. I'm putting double buzzes in the middle of the field to go and stop him. I uh, do contains. I actually put a QB, uh, QB contain on the offensive line. So it's basically all fag defense with, with contains. It actually pops a guy right there. Mac is in the area, but he actually gets away with it. So I decided to change up my defense a little bit. I figured I'd show him the, uh, the mid blitz right here. It, he doesn't have a lot of area for the for the ball to go. So, uh, you know, if he hits me with a slant, he does. But right there, he actually goes and hits me with a slant and gets a timely catch uh, by his guy um, and actually gets the ball down to the one-yard the one yard line. So right here, I'm flipping through. I actually get stuck on, on a different camera view, and he has a little pitch play, and he's able to get it in. So Burns an entire quarter up 7-0. Um, and I'm on offense right here. So I come out. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and look at the stretch play. He's using uh, basically a nickel 335, but watch these guys penetrate. These guys would penetrate and basically annihilate my run. So I lost two yards right there. Once again, the same type of look. He's got off coverage. Um, he actually, guys, dropped back. I'm looking to the crossing route, and I throw the ball a little bit late, but that defender was actually carrying. So if I got rid of it a little bit too early, it would have been in some serious trouble. So right here, I go into a, tra uh, a trio formation. Drag up my outside receiver, my slot receiver, streak up my tight end, and look for the crosser. He can't get out there in time, and Robinson actually comes down with the ball and actually gets a nice little completion. So first and ten, back to the running game again. Um, and look at the these guys just penetrate uh, on a draw play. And if you go back to play art, look, he's in a cover three sky press. So he was doing something with his defense, and I'll be showing that to you a little bit later on, on, on what I exposed in his defense that um, he was using coverage and then taking out draw plays. And usually that shouldn't happen. So right here, uh, corner route almost got picked off, almost got a completion. It was a very tight window. Uh, Chabisky's able to go and squeeze it in there. Crossing route right here with the tight end, and I actually go ahead and throw it over the middle to the post route, and he uses it perfectly and picks me off with Mark Barron's. 
and right here I'm going to go ahead and tackle him, but I get a five yard or a 15 yard penalty. Uh, but with my quarterback, Chavisky, actually goes ahead and does a face mask. So, so he's in a good situation right here. So I actually go with a pretty uh, aggressive blitz, and he throws it right to my man, uh, Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith, I switched him to my, my starting middle linebacker, and I've been using him, and he's been acting like a beast lately for me. So I'm really, really liking that. So uh, looking through the crossing route right here, should have got rid of the ball a little bit quicker. Should have just dropped it. So second and three, I lost three yards in that particular play. Right now, I'm looking at Gabriel and the seam. The seam actually gets taken up. I drop it down to Cohen, and Cohen's able to go and, and take the ball up uh, the sideline for first down. So right here, look how his guys are all come biting down, and uh, my wide receiver uh, Gabriel's wide open. So this is what this guy was doing. He was actually going ahead and taking his, his uh, defensive line, and he was run committing. So all his defenders were coming down and attacking the run. So when he anticipated a run, he would run commit, and it would shut it down, man. I had no running game in this game whatsoever. Everything I, I couldn't run the ball against this guy because of his defense, uh, but I did actually expose it uh, with that streak route. He actually came down and contained, and, his, and my, my streak route just got completely uh, outside, and I was able to go to go up by a touchdown right here. So I get a nice little block shed right here with my uh, my uh, outside um, defender. Uh, I go back into uh, basically a 3-3-5 uh, look. Um, I'm actually just trying to get some edge pressure off the left-hand side. I probably should have took this pressure off to the right-hand side uh, so I can get Cleo Mack on a one-on-one. -on -one. And right here, it throws into uh, a seam, and Amos is there to pick it off. So it's one of the good things about having a good uh, player right there that actually is going to give you an opportunity. So uh, he's in uh, just a regular uh, uh, nickel uh, defense. I go ahead and jump back into uh, the fullback play action fullback wheel. And uh, I'm, I'm watching um, my wide receiver over the middle, but you can see right here my fullback gets past the coverage. I'm able to go ahead and take it into the red zone right there to go up 14 to 7. You're, you're not going to realize how important that play was right there for the game. So. First and ten situation, uh, a minute and eight seconds left. He does a little uh, uh, whip and nod. I'm able to go ahead and drop down to the knob, but he picks up a good ten yards right there, or actually uh, nine yards. I go ahead and drop my uh, linebackers back into hook zones just to kind of clog up his, uh, his throwing lanes. And he dra he uh, actually takes he playmakers his guy over the middle right here and actually makes a great complete a completion to go and get a, uh, get a, uh, a first down and actually takes a timeout. So right now I'm trying to get some edge pressure off the edge right there, and uh, his line picks it up, but he throws it once again back at Roquan Smith, and he actually makes a play for me. If you guys ever watch my gameplay, I'm not the best user, and, and, and lately, the last couple days with, with Roquan Smith, the guy has just been picking off balls for me left and right and making some plays. So maybe I've just got the mechanics down. So once again, I want to go ahead and throw the ball. I'm looking for the crossing route by the tight end. I drop it down to the running back. Uh, Howard drops the ball when he gets smacked. So I'm just thinking this guy's playing a lot of coverage. Maybe I can hit him with a screen play right here. So I jump into um, the uh, the tight formation. And I look at the screen play wide open, but I get sacked because of Aaron Donald. So jump into um, a trio set right here. This is basically a sale concept. I'm looking uh, to the tight end, and right here I'm trying to do a possession catch, but his wide his, his defender knocks the ball out of my hand, so I got to settle. Go ahead and punt the ball away. 24 seconds left. He's got basically one timeout. Not a lot of time. I get a good bounce down to 20 seconds. All I really have to do is just kind of limit him, uh, maybe catch him in bounds right here. Try to do some pressure off the edge uh, with uh, with Mac. He actually gets a nice turn, but he actually gets a nice little uh, uh, reception right there. Down to the 45. He has to burn his final timeout. So 15 seconds left. Not a lot of time for him to do anything. He's got to ca catch anything out of bounds. If he catches something in bounds, He's really not going to have an opportunity to make a play at all. So once again, I just drop up uh, yellow zones. Look at this play right here. He actually goes and takes off the ball. He gets it down, and I tackle this guy right at the one-yard line. Six, five, four, three, two, one. He can't get his guys up, and I get out of the half. I almost gave up. A huge play right there to let him tie up. That was a huge opportunity. Thank God my defense actually tackled this guy short. So going to uh, the lead draw... This guy's defense, he's, you know, he's got a really stout defensive line. He's got really good players. He's got uh, Sue. He's got Aaron Donald uh, up in front. I think he's got Brockers. I couldn't get any push. Look at this guy. I just, I, he just another uh, situation, outside run, just completely bottled up. He put me in passing situations. I did not want to pass. So I go back to the trio set. Once again, drag up my slot receiver, slot, uh, streak up. 
my 10 on. He follows the deep crosser, but I got this backside crosser right here, uh, which was Gabriel. I actually get a nice little first down. So three minutes and 20 seconds left. All I need to do is go down and score, put them, put them down, be, uh, down by uh, two scores. They'll be in the driver's seat. So once again, I don't want to go ahead and give up um, any kind of uh, opportunity right there to go and get the ball down the field. So go on the bench. I'm going to go and streak up my outside receiver. I got the, uh, the drag route uh, by uh, Burton going over the middle. I'm going to block my running back just to give myself a little bit more time, even though this guy was running a massive coverage. And right here, I'm looking down, and look at the, the, the corner route. is wide open. I possession catch the ball because I did not want that ball to get dropped out. So that was the most important thing. So first and 10 situation, once again, going right back to uh, the uh, single back uh, uh, doubles south, looking for the crossing route by by Bert, uh, or Gabriel. He actually gets tackled right there. Uh, I couldn't rack it uh, up to the sideline, so I'll, I'll go ahead and settle for it. So second and uh, second a six situation. Basically a uh, minute and a half left. Go back to uh, the play. He gave me a touch on last time. And look at this guy. He actually comes out of the blue. It was a bad throw. The actual crosser was wide open. Uh, and actually, look at this move right here by, uh, by against my quarterback. And he actually takes it house and showboats as he's going in. So scores tied 14 to 14. I'm thinking I need to get some points on the board. I can't let this guy, uh, guy go by. So I jump back into uh, the play action uh, with the the uh, the tight end route. Look for Gabriel uh, going over the middle. Right here, he actually the guys come down. I look at the, the next read, and the next read is, he's completely covered in himself. So I just drop it down, and I'll pick up the eight yards. It's a first and uh, first and uh, ten situation. Now it's a second and three. Uh, puts me in the driver's seat. So once again, he actually takes his line, presses him down. I'm looking to the the outside right here, uh, trying to go ahead and get that off to the left. I hit the crosser off the left, drop it down to the running back, actually do a little hook route right there, and actually be able to get the ball up to 45 yard lines. So five minutes left in the quarter right now, feeling pretty good, good about myself. My, my job right now is to get the ball down the field and chew as much clock as possible. So right here I go ahead and do a, a little uh, crossing, uh, a little stretch play right here, but you can see uh, his guys are just making really good penetration. Like his three down linemen would actually penetrate, his linebackers would be able to be cleaned it up, and he'd p clean up with with Mark Barron, who was, who was usering. So going back once again to the wheel route, got about four minutes and 20 seconds left down on the ball, and I actually drag things up to show him just a different look right here. My wide receiver's wide open, but I overthrow the ball right there in that type of situation. So out of frustration, I go ahead and jump into a different type of play right now. I go into a hook play out of the bunch. I haven't shown this guy bunch at all. Matter of fact, I don't run bunch at all, but because this guy was using a lot of cover three, um, I decided to go and hit this. And because this guy falls back and hit the hook, and I'm able to go ahead and get a nice little um, animation right there to go and get a first down. So that was a huge play right there. First and ten, go ahead and jump into another play, which is going to be the offset play right there, uh, uh, play action, and go ahead and drop it down um, into uh, a first down. So moving the clock right down, down to three minutes left on the clock. Uh, basically go ahead and uh, take a little inside run, just chewing the clock as much as possible right now. Down to a minute, uh, five, two minutes, 55 seconds. I think he burned a timeout right there. And I look to the little crossing route by underneath uh, with uh, with Howard, um, and he takes another timeout. So this guy wants to stay on the, uh, the other side of the two-minute warning. So I got a little angle route on the left-hand side. He's playing a lot of cover three. My, my anticipation is, is Cohen's going to be wide open, and sure enough, he is, but he falls short of the first down. So Here's the here's the time in this type of situation. What are you going to do? Are you going to go for it? Because uh, I know if I get the first down, this game is pretty much ice. I go and show him a different formation. He hasn't seen the entire game. A little angle route, one of my favorite routes in the game, but I haven't used it at all against him. And actually throw it right in front of him. Sims comes down with the ball. I'm able to go ahead and get the completion and tie it up. With, uh, actually win the game with the last field goal. So once again, to my subscribers, thanks for support, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys picked up some pretty good tips, and I'll be rolling out some more schemes and uh, gameplay as as we go. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.